Have you ever felt lucky? Hey Peter, magst du ein Bier? Ja, warum nicht? Danke Beatrice, verdammt heiß heute. Ja. Die Nachbarn auch. Die scheinen Spaß zu haben. <lacht> Peter, ich gehe nach Australien. Ich mache da mein Praktikum bei Amnesty International. Oh, tut mir leid. Jetzt musst du dir einen neuen Bewohner suchen. Cheers. Beatrice leaving hit Cheers. me like a rock. It was so sudden. Mm. Australien. What should I do? Echt gut. Follow her to Australia? Du wirst schon jemanden finden. Ja, yeah. bestimmt. I feel lost. When I looked at your pyjama, I had an idea. My idea was about you and about DNA, genetic experiments and cloning. I had a dilemma. You were leaving Berlin again, so what could I do? Then I met Albert Einstein in a dream. Peter, what you must fucking do is cloning! Yeah, Albert. That's the best fucking idea you've had since 1905. Jesus, man. It's a pity you didn't have the fucking same idea back in 55. You could have made a Marilyn Monroe clone too. Shit! Yeah, man, you are right. It's a pity I never thought about this idea. Fuck! Because then I was left alone. And I had no choice except to close my eyes and think about her and start masturbating. So when I woke up the next day, I knew what to do. I had to make a Beatrice clone. And this was the recipe. Beatrice DNA. 55 liters of water, salt, phosphorus, 10 grams of iron, 32 teeth, intelligence, humor, education, memory, imagination, one live salmon and five eggs. And so to begin, I brought her pyjamas to the laboratory. To collect all the Beatrice DNA I needed, I used a genetic thermal nuclear high-powered vacuum cleaner. In very clean conditions, I filled a bottle with Beatrice DNA. Then I returned to the microbiology lab and mixed the Beatrice DNA with the eggs. I put the mix in a hermetically sealed jar and then put it in the fridge for the weekend. This is the bath tube. I'm gonna tell you the recipe and you pull in all the ingredients. Half of it. As I was supplying the intelligence and knowledge, I ordered my new assistant, Kowalski from Poland, like to egg. do the hard work. Yes. Basically, Kowalski did the donkey work, while I took care of the development of the higher faculties of the clone. For exposure to contemporary culture, I took the brain in a clean plastic lunchbox to the cinema, to a live concert, to a library, and then with me to the pub for a few drinks of the weekend. Amazingly, the brain quickly absorbed intelligence by a process of osmosis. I also brought the brain shopping and then afterwards with me when I ate fish and chips.
Kowalski was a good worker. After only two weeks of constantly mixing the recipe in the bath, the liquid became thick. Then I instructed Kowalski to put in the magic ingredient, the live salmon. Mamma mia! What a reaction in the recipe! With my spirits lifted, I quickly returned to the microbiology lab. The final stages were approaching. The brain was responding well to stimulation. And at this stage, I guessed that it would be ready for the final stimulations. Um, Beatrice, um... Tune. <laughs> Tune.